Shalom, 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 shalom. First and foremost, giving infinite praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahusha, Ba'ashim, Rechakodash, giving double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Shalom and salutation to all you sincere Akim across the four winds, pushing us truth with sincerity of heart. I'm your fellow servant, Kasamagan from DC Camp, coming at you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahusha, Ba'ashim, Rechakodash, if you elect. Now, this is going to be another edition of the Drums of Liberation. As I as I have explained before, um, the drums of uh, the drums of liberation is the part two of the Watchtower. All right, so this is us going into prophecy, measuring the times, um, and basically expounding and explaining to the nation of Israel, so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, primarily the election, the elect. All right, the hundred and forty-four thousand. 12,000 men from each tribe, Judah on down to Issachar, and the remaining of the one-third, all right, which constitutes the men, women, and children scattered across the four winds. So, in this edition, we're going to talk about the bread and circuses and how <clears throat> the United States of America, known in the Bible, in the book of Revelation and across the Bible as Babylon the Great, it's actually is collapsing and it's collapsing right in front of our eyes and every metric is going down. All right. And there's absolutely nothing that these people can do to stop the free fall of Babylon the Great. Why? Because the free fall, the destruction of Babylon the Great brings about the liberation, the freedom, the salvation of the nation of Israel by the hand of of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, whom the world has ignorantly known as Jesus Christ, the Son of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, whom the world has ignorantly known as God. All right, we are the children of Israel, whether you believe it, like it or not. This is just the reality. All right, and as the nation of Israel, the elect are preparing to have the final exodus, what's happening to the United States and Babylon the Great. It's the same thing that happened to that happened in um, ancient Egypt when Israel was on his way to um, Exodus to you know to exit ancient Egypt. Now, <clears throat> the bread and circuses. This is NBC News. It says sports gambling takes a toll on American checkbooks. Research shows two new studies. Quantify the effect of legalized and expanded sports betting on investments and savings. As you know, you got you got the monkey league that's coming back, um, the NFL. And of course, not being a hypocrite, right? I mean, you know, in your spare time, you know, some of us do watch it. Um, but it's always like um, it's always bitter. Every time there's a new season because it's a reminder that um you're still in captivity and it's the reminder that you still have commerce, you still have um some type of uh commerce going on, right? Because I've stated before, um, as we know, the mark of the beast spoken of in the book of Revelation, the MOTB is you know, is um the RFID microchip. But you can't have the mark of the beast be established, be enforced when you still have a commerce, a, a running economy based on dollars and um, basic uh, credit, whether it be credit cards, uh, visa cards, um, you must have an economical collapse before the microchip can be uh, established. So that's the reason why we always have to keep watch on the economy. It's one of the most important things that must happen um, for the microchip to be uh, Established basically. Now, <clears throat> one of the things that you're gonna real, you realizing that actually one of the trends that's happening is that people are forgetting, uh, foregoing their savings instead of putting their money in their four hundred one k's instead of um preparing for the future. They're doing a lot of doom spending and then primarily you know doom spending for the women when it comes to shopping and then for the men. They're doing a lot of uh, gambling, all right? So there's a lot of activities of let me win now, F the future type thing, which these are things that happened in ancient Rome. And we're going to get the history 
of and the correlation of that. So without further ado, let's go into it. This is by uh, Rob Willie, and this is dated August 24, 2024. And it says researchers have begun measuring the impact of legalized sports gambling on American household. In the initial results and the initial results paint a worrisome picture about how its expansion has affected betters' finances. In separate papers released this month, academics have found that households in states where gambling where gambling was legalized saw significantly reduced savings as well as lower investments in assets. This is the American dream. A house, a wife, um, a car, you know, two children, a dog. Life savings for retirement, investments in, in, in stocks. What you've realized now, the American dream has been dead for a long time. You, um, the majority of our United States citizens cannot uh, um, afford um, um, a household, right? Because I think that um, the average house and on average goes for about three hundred to four hundred thousand. Um, you have a lot of single people. Male and females, you have a gender war that's been going on for uh, uh, two decades now. Um, so men are not getting with women. So therefore, you have a lower birth rate and you also have a lot less couples. You have more divorces. So you don't have you don't have households. You don't have people. People don't have enough money um, to get these things. And what's happening now is that American males of all nations, right, including the Israelites, American males and females uh, have basically given up in the future our uh, family and um, assets and savings. All right. These are signs of a population that has given up, which for us, the prophets and, and the Israelites, this is great. These, this is what is this is this is what's called the drums of liberation. These are signs that our oppressors are collapsing and they have no answers. And now they're betting in sports and bread and circuses with their savings, with their future, because they realize they have no future. All right, they're circling the drain and it's starting to set in people's minds that America is on its last toe. Let's keep going. In separate papers released this month, academics have found that households in states where gambling was legalized saw significantly reduced savings as well as lower investments in assets like stocks that are generally considered more financially sound. Of course, it's more financially. It's supposed to be more financially sound for you to have savings, long term investments, you know, than actually gambling. All right. Gambling. It's it's not good. And you gambling with your savings. You have all these different sports bets, right? Bet US and all these different uh, things which you could bet. It's a lot of betting going on. And I'm not saying don't bet. I mean, some of us do bet on some of these games. You know, you might make, you know, cash out a little money here and there. But you got these people betting their savings. These are Babylonian believers, people that believe that America will last forever. Um, you know, Edomites. Uh, Asians, all these different nations, right? They are collapsing right in front of us, all right? And they're betting their savings in, in, in games, rigged games. You have to understand the NFL, the NBA, all these different leagues are rigged games. There's way too much money into that for that to just be legit. They're rigged games, okay? And it goes back to ancient Romans. The Romans also had, they told as, as you, you saw a gladiator, uh, a lot of these get gladiatorial games in ancient Rome were rigged games. All right. Legaliza legalization is not a free lunch, said Scott Baker, associate professor of finance at Northwestern University Kellogg School of Management. It says continue reading. I hope they're not. OK, cool. We good. It says an elite author on one of the papers, the lunch has never, nevertheless been substantial for state coffers. New York, which has a 51% tax rate on mobile sports wagering, ranked in $862 million last year in tax revenue from the activity and more than $2 bill over the past three years, according to legal sports 
report. With most of it going towards education, New Jersey, the first state to allow online sports betting, has a much lower tax rate, though it is contemplating an increase, an increase, but has still seen 549, 549 million in tax receipts from sports betting since 2018. All right, so let's keep going. Let's see if we can get some more meat on this. It says online sports betting is legal in 30 states plus the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico. And the authors estimate total monthly wages have climbed from an average 1.1 bill per month in 2019 to $14 billion in January 2024. Wow. So from 2019 to 2024, the, 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 uh, the monthly wage in sports betting went from $1 billion to fourteen billion. I mean, because you have men and women betting, and it's so bad now because people are struggling financially. The economy is collapsing, and now they have to bet their savings. No wonder, like I said, like the NFL's primarily. I mean, all these different sports. It's not just the NFL, but NFL is definitely uh, at, at the very top. I mean, you have women. I know of women that do bet on games that they don't even watch. They don't even watch the league, right? You know, they don't even watch the league, but they bet on these. I'm like, I'm looking at this chick. She said, well, I'm betting. And I'm like, well, you don't even watch the game. But see, it's not even about watching the game. They don't know what's going on. They don't know plays and defensive schemes. They just say, well, I'm going to bet on this team. And if I win, it's just pure and adultery, just raw gambling with your with your savings. Um, This is very dangerous, of course. This is not something... You should be doing if you are a believer in Babylon and you, you want to have a future in America. But what we're realizing is that a lot of people and um, the reality is sitting in um, that there's the ride is over. So let's just do some doom spending and gambling with our assets and savings, uh, which is wonderful for us to see our oppressors uh, go down and go down hard. All right. <clears throat> uh, let me see if there's more. Yeah, I mean, we're going to stop right there. I mean, like, oh, I see bankruptcies. Ooh, let me see what it says right here. Um, Wow. Every time you see that word bankruptcy, you got it. It says, in a separate study led by Brett Hollenbeck, Hollenbeck, <laughs> so-called Jew, an associate, prof- an associate professor of marketing at UCLA, Anderson School of Management, researchers found that compared... With states that did not implement sports gambling, states that did, so saw credit score drop by a statistically significant, though modest amount. So the states that have online uh, sports gambling, bed and circuses, it says their, their credit score dropped. <laughs> so, so they got bills to pay. Uh, they got creditors they got to pay, and they're not paying their bills. They fall into their credit. They don't give a damn. You know some. You know you've given up on on Babylon the Great when you don't give a f about your credit. I'm gonna be honest. Now, unless you are, unless you're a criminal and you make your money under the table, or you make your money under the table, um, for the most part, if you're supposed to be um a citizen, a law abiding citizen, and you don't give a f about your credit score. There's a nine times, yeah, nine times out of ten, you basically gave up on a so-called American dream, all right, which <clears throat> all of us, men of the Lord, hopeful elect, uh, we don't give a damn about the credit score like that. I'm not going to say we don't give a damn. It's just, it's, me personally, I'm going to say this, like, I don't personally try to destroy it, but at the same time, it is what it is, right? Because um, you, <clears throat> you can't be out here trying to win in Babylon and at the same time, trying to win the kingdom. You know, at some point, as we inch closer and closer to this thing, decisions have to be made. Uh, you got to stop pouring your energy and invest more of your spirit and your time into the scriptures, into pushing this truth to the hopeful elect. All right. Because that matters more. I don't listen. As long as my spiritual credit is good and it, go, and it grows year in and year out, um, you know, in the, in the kingdom. You know, my spiritual credit, as long as that thing is going up, the arrow is pointing up in the spirit, 
I'm good with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not worried about my, you know, the physical credit here in Babylon as Babylon is falling. So, you know, it's just understanding what's more important as uh, this thing is going down. So <clears throat> let's keep going. It says, uh, I bet, uh, okay, it says, though modest amount while bankruptcies increased 28% and debt transfer to debt collectors climbed 8%. There you go. So you got bankruptcies in states where people are gambling and savings on um, football games, basketball games, and all these different uh, things, right? On gambling, auto loan delinquency, delinquencies, and use of debt consolidation loans, consolidation loans. Also increase they found. All right, yeah, yeah. So dudes can't pay their car no cause they 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 <laughs> they gambling, you know, that 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 thousand dollar car note, that thousand dollar car note on that scat pack, you know what I'm saying? Dudes working a home depot, um <clears throat> working a home depot, gets a, a fifteen hundred dollar check, and but he has a car note, a twelve a twelve thousand dollar car note on the scat pack. You can't I mean <laughs> hey, listen, man. <laughs> this thing's a it's a big old joke, man. It's just it's just funny to see this thing crumble. All right. Uh okay, okay, we're gonna stop right here. I mean that's that's pretty much what's going on. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna find a correlation with ancient Rome. Uh because as we know, um, you know, the EU and the, the whole the dragon, right? It's, the scripture speaks about the dragon, which is really the power uh, the power of Ev Edom Esau, right, represented in the form of the United States, the EU, right, that that European mindset, the Greco-Roman Empire, that spirit, that old ancient Greco-Roman Empire, you know, uh, spirit was reincarnated and primarily with the 